Making a meme website with no experience seems like a difficult task, especially for me. With my minimum skills in Python, JavaScript, HTML, and about zero in CSS. So the question is, with my current skills, can I make a meme website? But before answering that question, why a meme website? Because I think some memes are funny and I spend quite a bit of my time enjoying them. So anyways, let's get started. Clap transition. While making a website, we need to deal with a lot of things like HTTP requests, routing, servers, database, etc. And that can be complicated for a noob like me. So to avoid complexities, I will use a piece of code called framework. And I chose Python's Flask framework because it's a very popular framework and uh, the only one that I know. First, I quickly downloaded Flask. Just as I was about to code, I realized I should first improve my CSS skills, which is nearly about zero. So I went on YouTube and watched a tutorial. Well, several tutorials one after another and finally after spending three hours on tutorial i was confident a little bit next i quickly set up a basic web server using flask that displays a message and this is the url of the website but as you can see it doesn't even look like a meme website so i spent an hour designing this yeah it's pretty unique <coughs> So now let's convert this design into a website. For that, I need to start with HTML boilerplate. Then I created a div and inside that I added another div to contain the meme image. But there was a little problem. When I tried to center the meme image div, I don't know why it was not being placed at the center. I was frustrated and confused at the same time. It took me solid 15 minutes to realize I was missing a semicolon. Sh now it's perfect next i created div after div after div and after some time i had something that is close to what i've designed now it's time for some punish uh, i mean polishing using css which actually was very easy <laughs> just kidding i had to deal with a lot of fish mainly missing semicolons since I work in programming languages that doesn't require semicolons, I don't have much experience using them. But somehow, I finally did almost. Now comes the most important part. How would I get a bunch of memes? Obviously, I wouldn't watch the same meme again and again. So to get a bunch of memes, I needed something called an application programming interface or API for short. A set of rules that allow software applications to interact with each other and exchange data. So I started searching for an API that can provide me unlimited memes for free. And after some time, I found an API that can provide me random memes from Reddit. Thanks to, uh, I don't know how to pronounce, but thank you. After that, I called this API and it gave me the post link, subreddit name, title, total upvotes, and the meme image as adjacent data. Now I just need to display all of this on my website. So let's get into work. I placed every piece of data on its correct position and it's done. Now if you see, everything looks good besides the meme image that is overflowing the div. I think so it's because the image can vary in different size and since I fixed my image container div to a specific size, the image is overflowing. Now now I don't want to lose my mind again fixing this CSS issue. So I did my very hard research on ChatGPT and turns out it's quite simple. Set the max width of the image container to 100% and the height to auto. And then, uh, anyways, it's fixed now. Now as you look at the upvote button, you can see how many upvotes the meme has. And if you try to click, nothing will happen. So to make something happen like this, I need JavaScript. And as my JavaScript skills are not that great, I watched some tutorial. <laughs> not at all. I used my ultimate skills to copy code from ChatGPT. So now if you try to click, still nothing. Oh. Now at least you get the satisfaction of upvoting a meme. But it's just this meme. How can I see more memes? For that, I have an idea. As you know, reels and shots are making people addicted to their site through simple scrolling. Because it's simple, you are basically stuck in a loop of scrolling through reels or shots and wasting your time. I want to do the same for my meme website. I want to make myself addicted to my meme website. But 
there is a twist. I want to implement sideways scrolling because I think so it's simpler than scrolling upwards. Because you know, a famous person said, simplicity is the key to success. But how does sideways scrolling work? Simple. Let's say you put your finger on the right side of the screen. Then you move your finger towards left and release your finger. So now the difference in X coordinate will be a positive number, which means the swipe is from right to left. And if so, then load a new meme. And with that, I think so it's done. Let's see. Okay, this is a meme. Scroll sidewise, new meme. Scroll sidewise, new meme. Scroll sidewise, new While I'm scrolling through memes, let me tell you. It was a nice challenge. I learned a lot about CSS ability to make you cry. But seriously, it was worth it. Now I have my own meme website where I can waste my time. I know it might not be the best thing. I agree. That's why the code is in the description. You can try to make it better. Until then, let me scroll through billion memes.